people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to FNAF News. In today's video, we got updates on Click Team's mysterious FNAF projects, YouTube's just shared a whole bunch of info on all their FNAF merch coming out this year, and the second FNAF movie starts filming in less than 100 days, that and so much more we're gonna be talking about today. If you're brand new to the channel, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button, it's the best way to stay up to date with all the FNAF news. And let's start off this video by going over some brand new artwork we got from Steel Wool Studios. At this point, St. Patrick's Day is pretty old news, but I did want to highlight this artwork we got from Steel Wolf celebrating St. Patrick's Day. We got Freddy Fazbear from the Freddy and Friends cartoons finding some Faz coins at the end of the rainbow. And then a few days later, they released this art of Bonnie, again from Freddy and Friends, celebrating the start of the spring season. Moving on now to Hex, Docco shared the very exciting news that later this year, or at the start of next year, those original four FNAF 1 Hex plushies are going to start to be released in retail stores. Seems like they're going to be starting off in US stores, which makes sense, but hopefully if the retail wave does well, some other countries can get the Hex plushies. He did also say the retail plushies are going to come inside a collector's box that they're currently working on the artwork for right now. Also for Hex News, Docco showed off the final design of the upcoming Springtrap plushie. Honestly, this is a fantastic design, easily one of the best, probably the best actually, Springtrap plushies we've gotten. And of course, a massive improvement from the first prototype plushie of Springtrap, which Docco did show off. But something you may notice is that Springtrap doesn't actually have a knife. Previous looks at the plushies did reveal he would have a knife accessory, but it looks like for the final design, it is now a shadow cupcake from the FNAF 3 minigames. Docco chalked this change up to merchandise companies just not usually liking knives and other violent content on their plushies, which I can understand. We did also say Springtrap doesn't even have a knife, but... Lewis Dockers Dawkins, I would love for you to find me a photo of Springtrap holding a cupcake. I'm really not too upset about the change. I think the plushie overall looks fantastic anyway, so I'm not going to get upset about a knife. But I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this brand new look, the Hex Springtrap plushie. He should be releasing pretty soon alongside Withered Chica, as well as Withered Golden Freddy, both of which we've seen previously. Moving on now to YouTube's, they showed off some interesting concept art for a possible Withered Balloon Boy figure. Now, of course, Withered Balloon Boy is not an official canon FNAF character. In fact, Withered BB is actually a fan created hoax character so there were a lot of people confused but also fairly intrigued by this concept art seems like fan reactions were split down the middle a lot of people very intrigued by a possible hoax wave but there's also a large part of the community that is against fan characters and fan hoaxes getting merchandise so i'd love to know what are your thoughts on possible hoax characters getting merchandise my take as long as the original creators of the hoaxes and fan designs get credit no they give the okay the approval or at the very least get sent the figure and or a plushie, then honestly, I'd be down for a hoax wave. I'm very curious to see whether or not this Withered BB figure actually sees the light of day, but a Balloon Boy YouTube's that will see the light of day is this brand new BB plushie. We've only seen the back of this fella so far, but already, I mean, his design looks absolutely incredible. This Balloon Boy plushie is expected to be released around June. Balloon Boy is not the only FNAF character getting a new plushie because Mike from the FNAF movie also is getting a plushie. It was revealed that the FNAF movie wave is actually going to be split up into two different waves, with the first wave, which includes four plushies as well as some figures releasing in June, and the second wave, which will also include four plushies and most likely some more figures releasing in September. So not only do we have this Mike plushie likely releasing in June, that first wave, it was also revealed that Abby as well as the Yellow Rabbit will also be getting plushies. As a matter of fact, Abby's also getting a figure, however, it's not exactly an Abby figure, because U2's revealed that Abby's figure is, quote, part of another figure, which likely means that Abby is going to be with another character in whatever figure form this is, whether it's her with Mike, or maybe it's her with Golden Freddy outside the pizzeria. So I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the FNAF movie wave? We're going to be getting a lot of plushies, probably a lot of figures as well. We're not done with YouTube's just yet because they released a gigantic AMA on their subreddit, and that answered a lot of questions that fans had about their upcoming FNAF merchandise. They revealed a moon nightlight is coming pretty soon. Previously, we've seen a sun nightlight. The previously revealed wet floor bot plushie is coming soon, as as well as a brand new Roxy Shoulder Rider plush. A brand new FNAF poster is coming soon, most likely one for FNAF 3. The keycaps are still in production, and actually they've been delayed to later this year. New Fanverse merchandise is currently in the works, with Blake the Badger ideas currently being looked at. Fred Barrow slash Psychic Friend Fred Barrow will be in a future wave, quote, 
for sure. YouTube's also revealed that 10th anniversary FNAF products are currently in the works, but we're not sure exactly what those are. The sister location figures will probably be released next year. Austin also gave an update that Ruin Chica is still in the works, and that more pins based on Ruin are also coming pretty soon. Moving on now from YouTube's, we got some updates on Pillow Pets because their brand new Foxy Pillow Pet is now available. You can pre-order him on the Pillow Pets website, and he should be shipping on or about April 15th. Moving on now to some fanverse news, let's talk about the joy of creation. And actually, that's where the title ends because Nixon just recently changed the game's name from the joy of creation ignited collection to simply just the joy of creation, saying it's not merely an assortment of different games compiled together. It's a cohesive game that draws inspiration from the original titles, using them as a springboard rather than a strict blueprint. Right, and I know going from T-Jock Ignited Collection to just T-Jock isn't really noteworthy news, but I'd figured I'd throw it in there anyways because that's how I'm going to be referring to the game from now on. But that's not it for T-Jock news because we got a whole bunch of brand new gameplay revealed, including this mysterious black goo coming from the ceiling. Hmm. Yes. But Nixon did show off a bit more of the office gameplay, including Ignited Bonnie's jump scare, which of course still has Bonnie punching us right in the face. And it looks like he punches us pretty hard because our character actually falls to the floor and has to recover. Going back into the cameras, trying to locate Ignited Bonnie after his attack. And you may notice in this footage, we get jump scared by Bonnie twice, but don't actually die. With Nixon saying Bonnie can only indirectly kill you now. He will drain or break your flashlight so you can't flash the cupcakes, Chica or Freddy, having most animatronics straight up kill you gets kind of boring. This makes for a more interesting gameplay loop, which I absolutely agree. So I'd love to know what are your thoughts of these brand new gameplay looks at T-Jock? Moving on now to Click Team, you may remember they've been teasing a whole bunch of various FNAF projects, some of them being made in Click Team, some of them being made in Unreal Engine 5, leading many fans to speculate there's actually multiple projects in the works from Click Team right now. However, they have been very silent on whatever they've been cooking up behind the scenes. In fact, even when asked about it on Twitter, all they reply with about their projects is all good things are revealed in time. So we're still just left wondering what exactly is Click Team cooking up? Like I said, it seems like it's at least two separate projects, one in Click Team, one in Unreal. Are they brand new mainline entries in the FNAF game series? Are they just some simple spin-offs? Are they just going to be released on like a website or Game Jolt for free? Really, all we can do is speculate, but I'd love to know what are your thoughts? What are you hoping to see out of these Click Team projects. And lastly, let's end this video off by talking about some FNAF movie news. Because believe it or not, we're less than 100 days from the second FNAF movie beginning filming. It's been reported that on July 1st, that is exactly when FNAF 2 begins to film. And if that's actually true, that's just only over three months from now. We're still waiting on the official announcement from Blumhouse. It's very clear another film is in the works. But for some reason, Blumhouse has just been super tight-lipped about it. I'm very curious to see when we're going to start to get our first set photos, our first looks at the animatronics. For another film installment, I'm also expecting some brand new cast announcements, so I feel like any time now we should be getting those. And as some bonus news, actually some folks over at Jim Henson's Creature Shop, who were also the puppeteers for Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and the Cupcake in the FNAF movie, they went ahead and made their own puppets based on the characters from the film, and they just look absolutely fantastic. They look so, so incredible, a very sweet thing for these puppeteers to do. Apparently this wasn't even something for Jim Henson's, they just did this side project on their own, out of the kindness of their own hearts. So while these puppets are not connected at all to Jim Henson's, Blumhouse, Universal, any of that, I really do hope that Scott or Jason or someone working on the future films can see the love the fans have for these puppets. Because how incredible would it be for them to release, like, even a little skit, you know, like a little promo video with these puppets for the upcoming film? These guys just look too good to pass up and not include them in some promotion for the FNAF movie. Movies. So a mad shout out to all the Jim Henson's puppeteers for creating these puppets. They look absolutely incredible. You guys are so, so freaking talented. Well, that's going to do it for this FNAF news video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. As always, I'd love to know what are your thoughts on all the news in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.